that is uh that's classic Paul. That is, uh, yeah, classic. that is. Not many people are like that, though. A lot of people jump off their bandwagons. Yeah, no. 453, thank right. you. I don't jump off the bandwagon, man. I set that thing up on fire. Okay, right. Thank you. Well, I had, I had uh, two double doubles. She says, no, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Once again. They always try to do something to us. What do you... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I said two. <clears throat> Play it back. Yeah. Um, you want the instant replay? You want the replay? <laughs> So while you were on your hiatus, I mean, while I was riding roller coasters at Universal Studios, did, did I tell you I disowned my son on a roller coaster? No, but I, I'm, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. You I threw him under the bus a couple weeks ago. I legitimately yelled, why do I love you? As we got shot out of this roller coaster. <laughs> like as soon as we got, I've, I've been on a lot of roller coasters, I've been on a lot of thrill rides. I've never accelerated like I did on the Incredible Hulk ride at Universal, Universal Studios Highlands of Adventure. Because you're going real slow and then all of a sudden you're going 100 miles an hour. And it's because, I did not realize this till after I got off the roller coaster, that the roller coaster starts you in a tube. You know what happens when you leave the tube? Hmm. It's a cannon. Didn't, didn't click with me. Didn't you didn't click. assess the situation? Did not, I did not read this situation correctly. And then I'm okay. wondering, how the hell are we going 100 miles an hour? So you were basically Trent Richardson on a blitz bike. <laughs> <laughs> where where where, is he? Who? What? Where? There's the Mac. Go that way. <laughs> it's funny, too, how you, how, you, how you decided to open that story with, you know, why do I love you? It's funny. My wife says that every morning she wakes up next to me. <laughs> uh, while you were on your hiatus, um, we got a defensive tackle. Uh, hashtag crystal ball strikes again, huh? <laughs> Man, you've been loving Star Latulule forever. You know, it's funny too because you you were so high on McCarran for years. Yeah. I felt like I've wanted, you know, almost like a similar type feeling. I've wanted him here for so long, but it was only like October that I was like, okay, we're going to get Star. We're, he's already here. Like, why are you guys even debating him? Like, <laughs> he's a bill. Stop, stop talking about this. But I was so happy just for the simple fact. Like, and I know he, um, in the contract, I went to overthecap.com and I looked at it. He's getting 6.7 this year. Mm -hmm. Next year, they could be free of him and not take a huge cap hit. The way that the contract really? laid out. I haven't, looked, I haven't even looked at the contract. 50 mil, 25 guaranteed. Um... Five years means that he, he, and because it's so, uh, you know, lo front loaded, because mm -hmm. usually, usually it's more, more than half will be guaranteed. Yeah. He feels like he's going to see the end of this contract. Mostly guys that sign five year deals, they don't think they're going to see the end of yeah, the contract. No. With the Mario Williams thing, I mean, people were optimistic that he was going to see the end of it, but we knew mm -hmm. that he wasn't going to see the end yeah. of that $100 million. But the thing about it is, Either he either he feels strongly about that, or the Bills feel strongly about that. He's going to be the bridge to go from Kyle Williams to whoever else they bring in, and these young guys for you know for how to play defensive tackle in this system. Yeah. So he's banking on the fact that he's going to be here. He's going to see the end of that contract, and by the third year, I think the second year it's like they take a five million dollar dead money bomb, but it's like six in cap savings for next year. Like if it doesn't work out immediately. Wow. Okay. It's, it's the way that it's structured according to overthecap.com is brilliant. And you know, I, I was on the Rock Power Report with Drew Gear and uh, Chris Kruger and we were talking about it and I, I ran some numbers. Throughout Star's career, he's only played fifty five to sixty five percent of the snaps. Yeah. So the way that the NFL is working, I mean they, they, they shuffle guys in. 
Right. No, no defensive lineman is pay, playing 90% of the snaps. Not anymore. No, no, not anymore. They, they just can't do it. It's too much. You're not going to have a very long career if that's no. going to happen. But then again, you know, guys playing 14 years in the trenches usually doesn't happen unless you cycle them up. Right. So that's what that's what's going on. I like the presence he brings, uh, knowledge of the defense. Putting him next to Kyle gives you now two horses in the middle on a more consistent basis that could get, generate that center push into the quarterback's face, which is huge. Um, and I had mentioned before, just that little nugget, you take care in any sport you're talking about, you take care of the middle of the field are the most important positions. Two high safeties, you got a high important. Beautiful. And two. they brought in Bush, so now they actually yeah. have a backup safety. Yeah, so then you got the two defensive tackles that are now Star and Kyle. The one guy you're missing is that middle linebacker. So of your defense, that middle portion is set. Mm-hmm. On your offensive side of the ball, um, that's why you put a second-round tender on Roy. Yep. You know you're going to need him eventually. You got Incognito. We're not really sure who's going to be that right guard. I mean, you can get guards in the draft in yeah. the third round. Yeah. And then you got your quarterback, as of right now, AJ McCarron, and you got Shady. And we talked about Ivory before. But you're they're taking care of the most important spots on the field, it seems like. Right now. And then they're gonna get their fringe guys that they need that also take care of the you know, um, other things other facets of the game. But I just lo- I just love the sign just due to the connections. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong here. You look at Star's rookie season versus next three seasons. It looks like there's a huge stat drop off. But we're talking about defensive tackle. Stats are not. Stats are very. Four three defensive yeah. tackle. That's, stats that, that's are the very misleading. Is, yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that that happen that don't show up in the stat sheet. Like, um, can I use myself as an example? Sure. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hesitant, but I'll do it anyway. All right. Um, you recall, I played semi-pro yep. for the Lockport Rampage. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I went there to play quarterback to play a D-tackle, yeah. okay, which was funny. We had the 14th ranked defense in the nation as far as semi-pro goes. Now, if you had to rank me of the starting 11 that was on that team, me starting at defensive tackle, I was like ninth or 10th of importance on that defense. We yeah. had some studs. I'm not yeah. even going to lie. Yeah, you guys did. But I had... Over, I think over a 13 game span, I think I had like 26 tackles. That's a lot for you know, a D tackle. Yeah, but I, you know, I had a, f- I had a few. But the thing was, all three of our linebackers led the league in tackles. So that's the stat I looked at as a defensive tackle. We played, a, we played primarily a four three. My job was to occupy at least two guys on each play. And that's what I did. And those guys would clean it up. Yep. And that's what was the success of our defense. Like I said, I wasn't one of the main like the stars of that defense. We had some studs on that team, but that I knew that's what my role was. Mm-hmm. I, I had to push the pocket, force them to bounce it outside. Our linebackers would take care of it. Our DNs would take care of it. We had we had a great team around us. But that's I, I didn't have a lot of stats. Now, did I do my job each week? Yeah. If I had two tackles, okay, great. I think I had like maybe three sacks, but it wasn't it wasn't something that was like, you know, oh my God, we need this guy on our team. No, I did my job every play. That's what I had to do. Star does that. He pushes the pocket. He does those things where you don't, uh, that won't show up in the stat sheet, but will show up in the stat sheet as an overall team defense. Yeah, it's it's interesting the, the game that you have to play as a defensive tackle. Right, as specifically as a four-three defensive. Very tackle. not glamorous. It's yeah, not glamorous no, it's a job. dirty job. It's a real dirty job. So dirty, in fact, that Star Latule apparently feels he needs to channel his inner Al Borland, a very Al Borland beard. The sand. <laughs> Who told me? Someone sent me a message that said he looks like the guy at Se- at the Sears warehouse that comes to your house with a pen in his pocket and he doesn't even have a dolly. He just picks your fridge up and puts it in your kitchen and says, sign here. <laughs> he's a monster. He's a big boy. But he, he's not heavy. Like, you see oh. a lot of D-tackles and you see just heavy guys. He is not heavy. You don't get drafted 13 overall by being heavy. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. So he's he's a solid player. He's going to be one of those signings where the Bills are going to spend a lot of money on him. But I 
mean, you need you need that moose in the middle, especially if you know Kyle's done next year. I think he, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be phased out this year. I think he's 28. No, two of the day. He's 28. Mm -hmm. By the time he's 30, the Bills can get out of it with zero cap penalty. Yeah, with no problem. Well, the minimum. I'm sorry. They're well, still yeah, going to have a dead yeah, cap. But, yeah, because they're signing bonus stipulated across yeah. five years. So they're still going to have some money, but drops in the bucket. Yeah, near the end of the, if, if his contract, if he's still productive, they can always convert that to a bonus. Mm -hmm. To help themselves out, kind yep. of a la Drew Brees. Yep. 